Welcome back to my channel. Today we are opening up another box of 2122 Extended Series Hockey. But first, as is my gimmick, going to take a card out of my PC, talk about why I like it. And just like the first video, we're pulling from the Greg Pattern PC because it's relevant. We're trying to pull parallels of Greg Pattern. And so in honor of that, here's a parallel of Greg Pattern from his rookie year. It's his Prism Cracked Ice Rookie. This was from the Spring Expo in, I presume... 2014, maybe even 2013, no, nah, probably 2014. Uh, this is the 13-14 Prism Cracked Ice. Uh, Great Patterns Prism Rookie was in Rookie Anthology, I believe, and so this was the, uh, I guess they had Expo Packs Panini did that year. I gotta be honest, I'm a little out of my depth, but I love the Cracked Ice parallel pattern that Panini does, and it's a uniquely Panini thing, so uh, had to have this one. It's I mean, the cracked ice on silver is not the thing that shows up the most. There's any cracked ice that is like a, a different color. Uh, like, for instance, I opened up some uh, Prism Premier League uh, mega boxes that had pink ice, uh, pink cracked ice, and they look slick. But still, that's an awesome looking parallel. Uh, and probably my favorite card I have of his, he doesn't have a particularly large uh, uh checklist so i would say that's probably number one if i if i had to choose one but onwards to extended if you couldn't tell i've been stealthily opening the box box number one certainly not as much of a disappointment as say anything from last year's extended uh but also not a huge success i guess they're, they promised two rare hits per box, and our rare hits were a double diamond and a reflections. Can do a little better than that. So let's see if, if box number two does okay. I mean, we still did have the Alex Turcotte uh, Young Gun, which is one of the best ones in the series, so we'll definitely take that. But uh, let's let's do a little bit better uh, on the, uh, the quote-unquote rare hits. See what we can do here. Did get a clear cut though. Always love a clear cut, even if it's just a base. And it came out of the first pack. Not the first pack in this one. This one is just a canvas mascot, please. Uh, Cunning, Flurry, Forbert, Checklist, and a canvas of a Vander Kane. Coleman, Deno, and Sod. Obviously, hoping that between these two boxes we get a full base set. Love to build a full base set every year. And as dumb as it is, love to build it from opening packs. Alright, so that's a young gun. Starting it off. Number one. We want to see seven or more. And I should really be checking the clear cuts, I suppose. That would probably when I get them. So I think this is a holographics. Johansson, Letty, Svechnikov, and it is a holographics of Nils Lundqvist. They do look better this year. I've decided they look better. Carrick, Dodano, Donato, Garland. The holographics definitely look better than last year. And I also haven't seen what a gold one looks like. Or maybe I've seen a picture or something, but haven't seen it in person, but I imagine it, there's no way it looks worse than last year's, because last year's was rough. Uh, it's a young gun. By the way, if you did watch my first video, there were no base packs. I just flat out missed a French parallel. Classic. And with David Camp, if you're keeping track. Boy, do I hold a strong, deep dislike for the base French parallels. Alright, so we got Shiny, True, Yandel, Costas Bear, and it is our retro. It is of Mason McTavish. Very nice. Always good to get a rookie. Yeah. And a good one is always nice. Geeky, Gord, Patrick, and Thompson. The retro SPX design. I'm trying to think. What do I think about it? It brings back classic memories, because I believe that's Patrick Stepan, or at least that's what it evokes in my mind, and that was a uh, quite the that's the retro young gun, by the way. I'm actually gonna save that. Um that was, you know, being a kid and the fervor over him as the first overall pick in his cards. So that's interesting to me. So you know what? I'm going to say I like it. There. I've decided based purely off of that fact. Okay. So this is a black diamond here. McDermott, Keith, Atkinson, Pitlick, and a single diamond of Jack Hughes. 
Corey Middleton, Anderson Huberdeau. I really do not like the first, second, blah, 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 all-star base cards. Big whiff from me. Do not need to see headshots. I believe this is a canvas. Wenberg, Hyman, Chason, Ellis, and a canvas of Oliver ekman Larson. That's a nice one. Very pretty. Dobson, Milano, and Krebs. I mentioned it in the first video, but I love an extended series how you get to see guys in their updated jerseys. Like uh, Krebs you were seeing there was the thing that brought it to mind. This is the retro. Logan Brown, Eric Goodbranson, Montembeau, Butcher, and a retro of Brady Kachuk. Uh, Jujar Kara, Cogliano, and Rowney. It's just, it's nice because, you know, how often do you get deep into the season and a guy changed? Sometimes even before the season, but because they put him in Series 1 in his old uniform, uh, they just kind of stick with it. Uh, this, I believe, is in Reflections, which, man, if that's a rare head again, one of our rare heads, man. Benino, Halak, Dunn, and it is. It is a Reflections of Marc-Andre Fleury. Fogel, Kemper, Stan Stanley, and Suter. Rare. Let's check, let's check the, the back and see what it says here. For the Reflections, they are, I believe, down near the bottom. Yes, Triple Dimensions Reflections, 1 in 60. I guess. By the odds, it's rare. But, come on, Upper Deck. That's what you want to give me as a rare hit? Alright, we got a canvas here. Raffle, Reeves, Heinen. Oh, sick! We got a mascot canvas. It's not the one mascot you want, but hey, you'll take that all day. We got Nordy. The Minnesota Wild mascot. Now that, Upper Deck. Listen to me here. That's a rare hit. One in 96. I love mascot subsets. Canvas mascots of Nordy from the Minnesota Wild. Awesome. Wish it was gritty, but I will take it. Alexiak, Hathaway, Susie, and Bean. I will say, I kind of wish they'd made them red or something so that you could distinguish. I know it's cheesy because I like to leave all the good hits till the end, but... Just throw me a bone here. That's what I'm saying. Because you can't tell. Just by standing the pack. Which is, you know, what I like to do. Ooh, another one. So we're now up to one, two, three, four young guns. Plus the retro. Plus the canvas Nordy. Wish it was greedy. I'm probably just going to keep saying that, so apologies. Uh, Dazzler here. Eichel, Lundestrom, Vasilevsky. Formanton, and a Petri Dazzlers. Beverly, Howden, and Berchi. What are we still looking for? One canvas, one holographics, one black diamond, two retro, two young gun, one young gun. Still a decent chunk of pack to go, too. Perhaps we see seven. Perhaps we see eight. The mythical exclusive young gun that I've never gotten. VC, Anderson, Holtby, Ristolainen, and a retro of Ovi. Larson, Flurry, and D'Angelo. What do we got left? Eight packs? Yeah, eight packs. One young gun. Still left. make that no young guns so in the final seven packs if there is a young gun means we got a French or means we got an exclusive or god forbid a high gloss what is that that is a gold Ugh, that's gonna be our other rare hit helm kulikov blay dezingle ah well you know what a gold holographics of moritz cider at least it was the right player Rantanen, Blackwell, and Nedeljkovic. See, that's another cheesy, like, hey, this is going to be, guys, it's a rare hit. Because let me pull this back up nice and nice and tight here. The holographics, my eyes don't work nearly as good. Oh, yes, the gold parallels are 1 in 60. So we got two 1 in 60, quote-unquote, rare hits. <sighs> I want 
of love you extended. I really do. What is that? I think it's just a retro. Another retro young gun? Okay. Maybe we got an exclusive in the retro young gun. That would be cool. Would that count as me pulling an exclusive young gun for the first time? That is, this is a die cut card. Pro Suter Hill. And it is a Sidney Crosby UD3. These, I believe, are number two, like 1999 or something. 1,000. 1,000 flat. Good player, though. Take that. Forsling, Erickson, Goodrow. Oh, wow. Kaliev. My brain stopped working for a second there. Still looking for a canvas and a black diamond. is the black diamond. Reinhardt, Cole, Stepan, and it is a rookie gems. Ooh, triple diamond of Jamie Drysdale. That's a pretty good one. Hoffman, Luger, Hockenpah, and Bear. Three packs to go. I mean, if we're not going to see a young gun, I guess I can get over it. Still haven't seen the French though, so I believe I just spoke it into existence. Or this is a canvas here, yeah. Dreger, Dvorak, Fox, Donskoy, and a canvas of Truba. Jumbo, Marchand, and Marie. I should probably read the card before I just immediately flip through it. Makes it a lot easier for an audio slash visual medium. Ooh, a pink Dazzlers, guys. Yay. Seth Jones, Thomas Nosek, Ryan Graves, Jakob Voracek, and a Cole Perfetti pink Dazzlers. If you've watched Series 2 videos, Corrali, Tatar, Rask, Pink Dazzlers are lame. An upper deck is lame for making them a rare hit. All right, final pack. Oh, this is the SPX Fine Man. I forgot about that. Hamilton, Holden, Appleton, and it is Miko Rantanen. Numbered, as always, to 2,999. <laughs> Extremely rare. McCabe, Felino, and Dickinson. Okay, so we did only get two retros. Maybe I'm just bad at... Like, that's definitely got all the bars that come with a retro young gun. And that's got all the bars. Maybe we just got two. All right, well, let's flip through it. McMichael, McCann, Matthews, Allmark, and an Anton Lundell retro young gun. Glenn Benning, Brad Richardson, Martin Jones. Tuck, Elliot, Clutterbuck, and a William Beckland retro young gun. Yeah, we just hit two. Cool. No exclusive or anything in there, but Hedman, Riddich, Bunting, and Zadorov. All right. To the main event, the Young Guns, Kotkaniemi, Marchment, Roussel, Team, Lightning, Hugo, Alnafelt? I, I don't know, never heard of him guys, Savard, Kasha, Fleury, and Dougie Hamilton. Who even knows? We're looking for Seth Jarvis, by the way. Dryden Hunt, OEL, Scott Wedgwood, Team, Maple Leafs, I believe that is uh, Steve's. There it is, Alex Steve's. I think that's the only young gun. Dylan, Joseph, Giordano, Brassard. The only Leafs young gun? I could be wrong. Vevelinen, Venny Vevelinen, whatever, does have a. Uh, canvas young gun uh and i can't remember if he has an actual name or one or not i should probably know that freddy gaudreau team colorado justin baron who i believe is now a member of the hats let me go hala and a checklist so we didn't get a french i guess That's what it looks like right now we got another pattern base, nice. And the team, the Coyotes, Yanis Moser, 
Again, don't know anything. Grubauer, Thompson, Richie, Bouchard. Two more. Still looking for Jarvis. Realistically, still looking for anybody that would be considered a good young gun hit. Mrazek, Carrier, Brassois, Yanmark, Ducks, Bryce Kindop. Boy, Ducks signaled good. Ranta, Sanford, Makar signaled at least a chance at good in the first two series, but. Yikes. All right, last chance here. Tucker Pullman, Adam Boquist, Callie Yarncrook, and Team Devils. Alexander Holtz. You know what? That's a pretty good one. He's a half decent young gun. Montour, Chara, Rodriguez, and Forsberg. So, box number two. Certainly more interesting than box number one. The finite Miko Ranton. Nothing to write home about. This fun UD3 of Sid. Gotta be really careful with sleeving die cuts, which is always fun. Uh, the Young Guns. Not exactly... Not exactly. Definitely not spectacular. This Alnefelt. Hugo Alnefelt. A goalie for Tampa Bay. Uh, Alex Steves. For the Leafs, which is cool. That's the first Leafs young gun out of this year that I've pulled. Uh, Justin Barron, uh, Yanis Moser. Boy, extended is really like names that I've never heard of. Bryce Kindop. I mean, I suppose I probably never heard of a bunch of the guys in series two, but I don't know it at the time. Alex Holtz. That's a good one. The SPX was good though. Mason McTavish. You'll take that for sure. Definitely. Um, Let's see what else here. We did get two retro young guns. The name's not spectacular. Well, I mean, they're good. They're good names. Eklund and Lundell. And then the triple diamond of Jamie, Jamie Drysdale. But, I mean, hit of the box, which I've buried now. Uh, we got the mascot canvas of Nordy. So, I don't know which was better, one or two. Neither really blew my socks off. Certainly not enough to want to get more, but I hope you like this, and if you want to see more videos, like, share, subscribe, comment, do all the YouTube things. We'll see you next time.